going to the bottom, smoothly, 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 always on the throttle a bit, very smooth. And then the curve, I'm not sure if I want to take it, uh oh. What are you Do not take the curb. <laughs> I'm sorry Kia if I destroyed your car. Yeah, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Nürburgring. Today is Saturday, the 16th of March, we can maybe even see it on the dashboard. This means hopefully this video is also published like an hour after it has been filmed. But most importantly, it is today the first opening day of the Nürburgring 2024 season. So today I will walk you through important changes, important announcements, track changes, etc. And we're gonna start with the fact with who are all these people with me in the car and where are we going from? At the end of last year, I made a video together with Robert at Apex, explaining that Apex is gonna be stopping doing rental cars. But there was also something else inside this very long video that many people have missed because the video was very long or the message was too ambiguous. I have actually left Apex to start a new business with Lapo. More on that in a separate video, but the main important thing that you need to know for now, do not go to Apex to bother people asking where is Misha. Go there to do hotel, I guess, because rental cars they're not doing, and whatever they will be doing. So there is no beef, just I'm not there anymore. Vice versa, do not ask me uh, to book a room or a car at Apex. I don't know, simply. So simple as that. No beef, just simply information. And regarding what we will be doing, there'll be a separate video to follow. Now, um, another thing, because of course this channel is mostly about onboards, me driving other people's cars, driving Lapo's car, which is now kind of more or less our car, maybe yeah. our company car. It's Vulcan's car. Yes. <laughs> oh, he already mentioned the name, but the name was uh, ah. public. It was public yeah, anyway. Um, there are a couple of changes regarding the the rules that I will be uh, I will have to follow and you will have to follow to be able to do these videos uh, first of all it always has been the case I'm not taking any payments for it this means there is no contractual obligation this means you cannot expect a service um, that's important thing however as of last year, well, last year I was using my season ticket, the unlimited pass. As of this year, the, the requirements are is that you guys buy your own lap ticket or actually even download the app on the Green Health Driving uh, app store. Is it green? Yes, it is green. Uh, and then I will use that lap to go to the track, and we are now actually at the track, so let's see who we can see and spot and find. La 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 la, the first lap of the year, woo! Excited, excited, excited. E46. E46, yay. Yay! <laughs> it's Vino Zavajt. Alles gut, ja. Good, my dear. Hello. Alles gut. Good, good. Freut mich. Um, yeah, so you need to buy your own lap ticket on the app that we will then use to do the lap. And aside from that, unlike now where we have a full car and in the past we could have passengers, only one person is allowed to be in the car, which is the car's owner. The reason for that is to protect the Nürburgring taxi license companies to make sure something that we cannot check that the passenger slash owner of the car didn't tell the person in the back seat like yo yo pay me 100 euros and Misha is going to give you like uh, a taxi lab we can make it happen so for journalistic reasons only that oh we're already on the track so we'll take you we'll talk to you more through the other things uh later on we have the Birstein bridge here and next week there's going to be a very very big announcement regarding this year coming up of what we will be doing uh with Birstein racing team this year very excited so uh we're on track nothing has been changed aside from this new traffic sign that i don't remember from last year this means on the left you stick on the left to go to the track and on the right you go to the car park because in case you don't remember there is actually a parking area here you don't have to take the curb, but we can go through here. And then if you find out that your car has a defect, or maybe you realized, oh, I forgot to refuel, and I proceeded with the next lap, here you have another paddock area where you will go. 
and you can take a rest you can literally park up here uh, there are toilets here so you can make use of that there's also a gas station here paying by card only extremely expensive warning you because we can have a look that this is Lapo can we see how much it is it's, it's two euros 33 cent per liter luckily we are in the EV and uh, we are uh, we don't uh, have to refuel. Speaking of the car, we're in the Kia EV6 GT. Um, so whoever might say like, hey, why are you driving an EV? Well, first of all, because our car is not ready. Yeah. Uh, second of all, is because this lap is mostly about me talking true and uh, I like it to be quiet, although it does generate some that nice sound. It's very important to be very smooth and gentle and easy on the first lap, not to send it to see how the track conditions are, how the changes are. What I immediately see is that uh, the white lines are very nice. Uh, so they did some nice repainting. The first half of the track is pretty much unchanged with comparison to last year. It's all the same. Uh, so we're going into Hotzebach. We are staying off the line because it's wet and wet means very slippery on the racing line So we want to avoid that otherwise you might end up in the barrier I didn't introduce the people in the back uh, It's Gio and Stan. Why are you taking the curve? Because <laughs> why not? <laughs> because I like it. So there we have on the right a photographer from Race Tracker. So if you go on racetracker.de you can uh, find the pictures that are being taken of you and your car and they're all conveniently sorted per car and license plate. Um, that's where I get also all my thumbnails from. So yeah, um, yeah. speaking of photographers, Gio and Stan will be taking care of my videos and pictures this season and hopefully many more seasons to come. And Gio you might know as the one and only Gio Bass from X Car Trottle. And now he decided to hop in his rusty E36 and go to the Nürburgring and change his life for the better or for the worse. We will find out in the future. Um, right on, approaching Schwedenkreuz. Very wet and slippery, but today it should be still uh, getting dry, hopefully. What can we hit actually? So, can we do 200? Whee! Come on, come on. Uh, does it have speed limit? Maybe because we're not in the GT mode. The ABS is kicking in nicely. Need to warm up the tires. I'm actually scrubbing the tires because I saw that they're brand new. So maybe we do not want you to go too crazy on it. Arenberg. The, um, oh no! A speedometer GoPro decided to leave the building. We don't need it anyway because it's not about speed today. Uh, they replaced the gravel and here is the new tarmac uh, from Foxo that you could have seen in one of the previous videos. And uh, so here you would have a big bump, but what about now? There's still a jump. I'm sure you can actually come off with, with a car. Going to the bottom, smoothly, 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 always on the throttle a bit. Very smooth. And then the curve. I'm not sure if I want to take it. Uh oh. What are you fucking? Do not take the curve. Holy shit. I'm sorry, Kia, if I destroyed your car. You can forward all the complaints to construction companies of the Nürburgring and whoever approved this. Whee. So there we have, I think, stateside supercars. Okay, do not take the curb. The main message of this video, because it's going to destroy your car. We had the, in the thoughts that it might, um, it might launch you into the barrier. Probably not, because your wheel is going to fall off if you're gonna take it at a proper speed. And this car might need a new alignment. Again, sorry, Kia. Okay, haha. <laughs> Approaching uh, Metkesfeld, going smoothly on the brakes off the racing line, turning into the left on the outside. It's it's very nice because Nevercring started doing all these reconstruction work since 2016 when they started like really big ones. And now you can see that actually the majority of the track has really nice and smooth tarmac. Yeah. Uh, we have here a Marshall that we're gonna be aiming towards because that's also the ideal line, staying a bit more on the outside and then going to the outside. Uh, one of the second, one of the second, the second change of the track for this year uh, is of course the finalizing of digitalization system you see like all those poles those cameras those are AI systems 
um, that are there to detect car standing still or a wheel falling off if you hit the curb at exit foxhole too hard um, uh, or a person walking on a track and then uh, you, you would have a yellow LED light that still need to come I believe there is a bit delivery uh, delay in delivery I think they're gonna come in two weeks or so I've been told uh, and then all the system will be like tested and finalized here also you have a second exit in Brightside, so where the Marshall car is coming from. So be always extra smooth through here because there might be a Marshall car coming out, there might be a recovery truck coming out or going in, also possible. There might be an ambulance coming out. Two years ago, someone decided to crash into an ambulance because they were sending at full speed. Try to explain that to your insurance. Speaking of insurance, this is a public road and you will be judged accordingly. So if you make a crash, uh, you will have to probably repeat the damages if there are any to the track. Also, speaking of the Marshall car, not yeah. only that, the Nürburgring has new Marshall cars because uh, they have now a very nice contract with BMW. So they have BMW Marshall cars. Would you put GT mode? Woo! Okay, so we had to put GT mode to go above 200, so maybe we can play with that a bit. Um, Lots of trees has been cut on the left side, and that's a good thing because now you have a nice visibility. Oh, that's so nice. Yes, towards the into the I call this corner illusion left because when you had the trees in the past, it was almost like a illusion that it's a tight blind corner, but you can actually take it flat out with most of the cars, just not in the wet. And now those trees had to be cut because of the AI system, uh, and which is convenient because this means they will have to keep them cut, cutting them down. So, the gardening costs of the Nürburgring will rise dramatically, probably. Uh, mood curve uh, taking a bit easier on the brand new tires. Here are a bit wide. Uh, the car is giving me a warning that we need to take a bit more, a bit more to the uh, left. But we are all good. Woohoo! So, tires tracker and then after that approaching the carousel where we can make maybe a funny picture with all our hands sticking out of the windows. So... Can I do that? Yeah, sure. Well, I, I'm gonna lift the windows up for now because... Uh, oh. Okay. Da, 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 da. Martin! <laughs> and Sarah! <laughs> Two great photographers of the carousel. Turiphotos.de Does Sarah have a uh, own page? I don't remember. Uh, regardless, pictures of the carousel and all the other corners again you can find on the racetracker.de I'm gonna switch off maybe the GT. No, I, I like the power because it uh, warms me up as well. So guys in the back seat, how are your first impressions of the track? <laughs> Man of few words. I like it, Gio. Stan, you like it too? Yeah. All right, good. You're not getting sick or anything, are you? Not yet. Good. No. All right. So, um, Wippemann, of course, with the famous uh, or infamous Wippemann challenge. So, should we take the curb? Yeah, because there's a so photographer. This is... Yeah, this, this one you can take. Woo! Just watch out with coming down, especially on slippy tires, going into Eschbach. Here we have also lots of cracks from the like the tarmac being old I guess so maybe that could be paved lots of black on the outside on the uh, right because uh, the grass had to be cut for the digitalization system but it has been replanted going on the outside through Brunchen and there is auto addiction so again using all of the outside lines move smooth 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 You can definitely feel the power. And later I'll be driving. Oh, oh there someone spilled already some dirt. I'll be driving the Ionic 5N, which I'm very excited for to try out. It's basically this, but proper track tool. Woo! Bit of ABS kicking in, feeling out. I had lots of practice with eye racing in the rain in recent days. And that has, that is really good. I'm really looking forward to drive the 
I said the Corsa Competizione, the Nordschleife version that will come out on the 1st of April. And I, I'm now asking them very kindly if I can have the version before, maybe even on 29th of March when we will be having the Car Friday Festival. So we'll be organizing something very nice in the center of Nürburgring at the fire department, including helicopter rides. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Easy, easy, easy in these conditions. All right. Yes, yes. Because we and here we are. We survived the lap of the Nürburgring. Fantastic. So staying off the line and then aiming for the fence 186. I think you replaced the sign, it's a bit higher now. Uh, and then tearing in, oh, look at that, so many photographers. And then going to the gantry. Now, usually I always recommend to let off here, do not go continue going on the gas because your car deserves a break. Uh, your brakes, your engine, your everything, especially on a very hot day, on a very busy day, you're gonna have here a big traffic jam sometimes. Um, if you're gonna ask why is Nürburgring not sorting this out, why they're not putting any exit here? Unfortunately, from what I've been told, the land here actually for the second exit possibly belongs to someone else and therefore that someone else doesn't want to sell it because who knows maybe one day they are going to build a shed here maybe what are you what are you doing ah you can also go straight to the barrier and actually get oh they made a white line very convenient here uh you can go for a second lap optionally um yeah so people didn't want to sell the land so therefore no uh, exit um and even if the land would have been sold it would probably take 20 years to get the paperwork done to get anything done in Germany. Right, Lapo? Yeah, I'm not commenting, commenting on that. No, because <laughs> we, we are dealing with a great... Uh, well, we'll comment on that in a separate video, the joys of starting a business in Germany. Anyway, we're here now also in the car park where you can, of course, park up, check out cars, go buy some pancakes at Devil's Diner, the infamous pancakes that are only available until 11 o'clock. So this is what we will be doing later. Oh, look at that, is that, yeah, it's a GT3 MR. Nice. Um, uh, looking forward to seeing GT4 RS MR this year, or actually uh, Manti, Manti Kit, it's called. First it was MR, then it was rebranded as Manti Performance Kit, and then it was just rebranded to Manti Kit. There are lots of funny reasons behind it. I will keep it for a separate video. Ahead of us is Ticket Office with a new repaved, uh, new paved parking lot that I'm very excited to show to you. So in the past it was gravel. Uh, if you come off the track with the hot slicks and you've been sent here, sent literally, not figuratively, then it's kind of inconvenient because all the stones will be sticking to your uh, to your tires. Ticket office, in the past it was a container, now it's more of an actual uh, one, two, three, just three windows. And here you have event accreditation, so when you have a track day or anything, uh, you can go to there. I guess we'll be going now back to Vulcan Override. You have also a bigger car park, but we'll be going back to our base, base of base. So the moral story of this video, uh, looking forward to be doing a lot more laps with you guys. Just send me a DM, make sure that your car is suited for the track. I'm done driving shitboxes for the safety reasons, because of course it was fun for a couple of videos in the past, but at the end of the day, we're playing with our lives here, if yeah. uh, we'll be doing some stupid stuff. So, performance track uh, cars only, or cars built for the track. This means n no standard brakes whatsoever, and just do, um, yeah, make sure that the car is in a good condition. When you're driving through Nürburgring, also respect the speed limit, very important. You see all these dividers here, they are meant here for uh, cars to take the speed down because unfortunately people are driving here way too fast. Sometimes speeds of 100 kilometers per hour, 60 miles per hour or faster because they need to get to the track as soon as possible. Or because they find it cool or faster or easier to drive 
on the public roads or anything. So we're not going to talk about the bad things. Let's talk about the good things and the fact that Nebu Queen is reopened now. Um, and it's very exciting to drive it. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm looking forward to be doing a lot more laps with you later on today also in the dry. Right. See you in tomorrow's video. Bye.